We don't want you to think of Lexi as just a number. And that's why families forever changed by the Uvalde and Buffalo shootings spoke out. That girl lost my baby girl. Parents somehow found the courage to speak at a congressional hearing on gun violence Wednesday. The Rubios lost their daughter Lexi in the Uvalde school shooting. They took her photo at an award ceremony that morning. It would be her last. I left my daughter at that school and that decision will haunt me for the rest of my life. Haunted. That's how this Uvalde doctor feels too. What he saw is hard to hear. But what I did find was something no prayer will ever relieve. Two children whose bodies have been pulverized by bullets fired at them, decapitated. Quiet. Fourth grader Mia Cerillo smeared herself with her friend's blood and played dead to survive. Do you feel safe at school? Why not? The trauma lingers, leaving families broken. This mother's son, Zaire, is still recovering from the Buffalo shooting. Shrapnel will be left inside of his body for the rest of his life. Pain fuels their plea. We demand action. We seek a ban on assault rifles and high capacity magazines. Somewhere out there, there's a mom listening to our testimony, thinking I can't even imagine their pain, not knowing that our reality will one day be hers, unless we act now. They hope this time things will change. And tomorrow, a special Texas House committee will meet in Austin to investigate what happened in Uvalde, including the much criticized response from law enforcement. Most of that testimony will happen behind closed doors. For WFAA, I'm Adriana D'Alba.